Hi everyone, this is Joe from JoeColantonio.com. The other day I received an email from one of my blog readers asking me if I knew of any issues with Google Chrome and the Fire event. Apparently he was running a script against IE8 and IE7 that ran fine using the Fire event against a web element. But when he ran the same exact script, it failed against Chrome. So he wanted to know if I knew of any known issues. Unfortunately, I didn't. I had no idea what was going on. And because I didn't have access to his application, I, I couldn't actually see the issue, so it was really hard to troubleshoot. So just on a whim, on one of my machines, it gets an application that uses a web element. I created a quick script and tried to repro it. And happily, I actually was able to repro. I was able to run the script against IE, and the fire event worked great. But when I ran it against Google Chrome, it didn't work. So what we're looking at here is my application under Internet Explorer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on, I have a script, and the script basically just clicks on the search element, and the search element populates this bottom grid. So here's my code. So let's run it and see what happens. Awesome, it worked as expected because we now see records in our grid. Okay, so right now we're in Google Chrome and it's the same exact application, same exact code, and let's run it and see what happens. And as you can see, it didn't work. Uh, zero records were found and we know that it should return records when you click on the search. So I tried a few things and on a whim, what I did is I just went to the tools options and under tools options, I went to web advanced and I changed the replay under run settings from event to mouse. Click apply. Now let's run the script again, same script, except that one change. And as you can see, it worked. That's all it took. All we need to do was go in and make that change to the replay. And it now works in Google Chrome. Also, just wanted to show how it behaved against Firefox. So now we're in the Firefox browser and let's run the script and see how it behaves. Doesn't, doesn't like that fire event. So if we change the replay type back to most and run the script, You see, we, do, we no longer get the unspecified error and that it works, that we return records in the grid. And it's all from just changing that one setting. There's actually two ways of setting that replay event. There's one actually doing it manually within your script, setting it up in options. But what you could probably do, which would be a better solution, would be to write a script that checks for what browser type you're running the script against. So if it's IE, you don't want to change the setting. But if it's Google, you do want to change the replay method. So with just one line of code, you can actually programmatically make the change in, in your script. And so the code is, so the value two equals most and the value one equals event. For more info, check out my post at joecolantonio.com. Hope it helps.